I'm like, let's play Hot Wheels Strike Deck. And I was talking about how we're getting close to like two thirds of the way through the game, but looking at the top screen, actually, we only have half the tokens. Plus, plus ten. Okay, but, so we just did a race. It's actually definitely time to do another token grab. Do we have two token grabs here? We have two. Let's get done with Bayside, though. Yeah, but we don't have any, like, new... Anybody new that's really gonna help us out here, do we? The newest appearance is HW40, which is just a knockoff of... of... Twin Mill. Sixteen Angels, the copy. Not the actual Golden Tetrad Sixteen Angels, unfortunately. But, I mean, just to let him. Has... I don't know if... We did at one point have... Vert pick up... Tokens for us, didn't we? Did we? Let's, let's let him try. I mean, usually the one that picks up Tokens for us is... Twin Mill, and that might... Be something that we maintain throughout later... Token grabs, but for now, let's have... Vert have his shot at it, just to see what he can do. And again, he's a pretty skilled driver, he doesn't need speed, and speed isn't really what you need in Token Grab anyways. Back in this particular place, I can speed is a problem. Most of the time. Although not being able to turn hard up is also an equal issue, so... Who knows. Jump. I, yo, look at that. Just barely. Close calls. I hate how the sand texture doesn't tile well. Though you can see the, the boundaries of the sand. I think that, like, I think it's shaded unevenly. I don't think it's actually the texture that's the problem. I think the shadows are applied unevenly or something. Did I get 15 last time I was here? I messed up at one point. I think I end up... I didn't quite end up getting 16. I almost got 16. Look at that. Beautiful air time. Just a nice little freeze frame. Cool though. So Bert is in fact helping us collect tokens. I mean, it's hard at this point to believe that he's not on our side in some capacity. I mean, fighting as hard as he had and getting us tokens that... I mean, he's done a bad job getting tokens in some paces, but this time he's actually getting them specifically for us, so we cleared up that one doubt. I mean, you know he's skilled. So, maybe we were right about that just trying to turn us against him, seeing the true capabilities, the true skills that he had. That can beat that as the Phantom Racer. Alright, though, so I kind of want to get more token grabs, honestly. So I have a lot of those left. It's actually a hot lap though. This goes another hot lap down here. I just, if you're wondering how I navigate these maps, I think I've said this before, but I basically just mash one direction or another until I get to where I want to be. There's, there's no logical connection. Like I'm pressing up, 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 up. Like it doesn't make sense in the slightest. How you get from A to B? Oh wait, you know, could I just? Ah uh, yeah, I should. I mean, it still doesn't excuse the D-pad being weird, but yeah, I can actually just tap it with with a. Stylus on the screen. That's probably the, the intention. But this game, this isn't really a game that uses the touchscreen for anything, ever. Anyways, so this, this one looks kind of like. Yeah, whatever. Never mind. All right, though. So let's have Twindle get back on collection duty. We'll just take it that Vert is in fact on our side. And not to mention that Vert was helping us out earlier in the DR too, too. We just kind of brought things into question once we found out that he was, in fact, the Phantom Racer. No, and again, we could probably... What? Seriously? We could probably just have... Bert do this part for us, considering how things usually go. I mean, how easy... Oh, jeez. How easy these hot laps are for some reason. And then, I, last time, did I play as Bert and then still managed to get... just over half the target time? I'm smashing the expectations here. Honestly, I just don't get why they're always the exact same target time. That's much get talking anyways, whatever. I wasn't actually trying to get that... I wasn't trying to get that jump, because I knew there was a token in the middle, but I didn't realize there was actually going to be a token on the jump as well. 
Someday I need to figure out how to get this token up to this guy here. Oh, it's the ultimate path that brings you there. Wait a minute. I need to look at that. I need to figure out how that works. Alright, token. That's a nice pretty turn though. Kind of like a nice little drift. Anyways, so let's retry that real quick. This one's not actually going to be for, for like racing or anything, or trying to get a good time or anything, but... I might as well get some tones if can. How? Why? Oh wow. Okay. Defeated by the spider. Oh. <laughs> you don't know what influence is from that and what's from... the two of the Golden Tetrad that have ascended. You don't know what kind of fighting they're going through. If anything, if they have any kind of interactions at all. Who knows, they might. Might be some constant ongoing battle between the two of them for control. That we just weren't aware of this entire time. Okay, floating token. I can still pick it up, so it's no problem. Okay, so what I want here, though... So what's the idea here? Oh. I have to jump to get on this thing. Man! No, no, no. It's a nice hidden token. And look at that. The amount of faith that... I still don't get the token because it made me do that. That gives you a big speed boost, but I think it's a token. It just made me jump over it. But, man, the amount of faith that the God and Six Angels have put in us to acquire some of these tokens in such extreme places. Of course, that means it's further out of reaches for that for longer, which is precisely what we need. So, it's for the best. And we need the training anyways for once we get out and can really face against that for real. Okay, though. the desert. So what are you doing next? We have a race, we have a checkpoint on elimination. We haven't done eliminations a little bit. We did hot lap and we did checkpoint pre recently. But we've done all these things recently, it feels like. That elimination feels like the one that's been long since we've done, so we will actually have twin will take care of these for us now. We're not gonna subject Vert to the trials that these entail anymore. I and mean, darn, it's actually getting pretty concerning for this guy, too. Oh, dear. More clones. Wait, though, these guys look like, what, Nerf Hammer? Those guys look like Nerf Hammer. Why are these guys the two that we're going up against? I think these guys are way slower than I am. Oh, this is the first track, isn't it? And that's why I'm going against these guys. You know what? In that case... If it's something that Vert can handle, I kind of want to have him do it. You see, he just hasn't had much in the way of... opportunity to do that much. Yeah, because we were up against... Oh, Asphalt Assault, not Dark Rimmer. But still... If that's one of the earlier cars, I'm very, very sure. You should be able to handle this. And right, I keep in mind, like this guy managed to overcome the likes of Whip Creamer. <laughs> so and that's like that's pretty Whip Creamer is a pretty serious foe we found. So usually I wonder myself if Asphalt Assault is actually Danny, but in this case. Some other time he's but but in this case. <laughs> Why is there a spin out right in front spin out pad right in front of the beginning? In this case, this is actually something that this guy can handle. In that case, I mean, if that's gonna be in multiple places at once, maybe we need to have maybe we need to cover cover more ground at once too. And split up. Have Vert handle places he's capable of and then have Quinmolt take care of the rest. So Quinmolt can be somewhere else right now, dealing with whatever else as we're here with Bert. So the tension's finally risen again, I'm noticing. That wasn't much of a speed boost. I still find it strange that when I was when I was playing as Bert earlier, it seemed that one, I got a way bigger speed boost from those speed pads than anybody else did. At the same time, like it didn't feel like I got as big a speed boost from the speed pads when I was playing as Twin Mill afterwards. It's pretty strange. Like look how far I already am. How far ahead I already am. 
And keep in mind that this is with much lower stats. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, jeez. Could we? Oh man, that put me way, way behind. See, this guy still is a little too fast. Uh, can I possibly catch up? We'll see. I don't know how much overbanding this game has for one. But two? Like, I got like, so much ground on these guys. Last time? Yeah. Yeah, so we can see, and that might be going for numbers, but it's definitely quantity over quality. They're all still individually at least weaker than they could be otherwise. And we have seen it some, like with Creamer, despite being duplicated, are still pretty fearsome, unfortunately. But we can handle... We can handle this regardless. Off we go. And also, let's not take that jump. I remember that jump's messing me up too in the console version, but not quite the same way. Not because I managed to accidentally hit, like, jump over the thing. That was a bit different than that. Every single time I say the word that, I can't help but think that it could also be taken as well meaning to refer to the entity that, the antagonist that. Probably makes some, actually makes some funny sense is that way. Look at this guy, the clones. Alright, though. So we have a little bit of time for the rest of this episode. I mean, like, literally one single minute. But we could do a nice little... 100 everywhere? Cool. Just about one-third done. And two-thirds done. So you need a token grab. I was thinking more like... A checkpoint. Are there any actual checkpoints left here? I don't think so. Okay, in that case, we can do one more token grab here. We can have Twinmill do it since last time we were considering having Twinmill do something, we ended up having somebody else take care of it. Get Twinmill the screen time they were promised. Anyways. Is this the last oak token grab here? I think it is. This is the token grab I actually quite recently did with Danny. Not, I think I'm Danny, I don't know why. Look, probably because of the word Phantom <laughs> in the Phantom Racer, but no, Vert, I want to. I did this with, and I had done the. I had been here at least once before, before that. I guess just once, since there are only three times you come here, so. I hate how that token counter at the top right kind of perfectly covers up some of these tokens sometimes. So you have to guess where they are. Which, at this point, I know where they are, but still, it's a little annoying. So I'm going to beat that score we got last time of... 15 tokens. I should have done that, actually. Okay, so I should have stayed where I was. I thought I was going to loop around if I... Oh, well, there don't seem to be any tokens around here. I'm not quite sure, actually. I think I, I should think I should turn around there instead of doing what I was doing. In any case, I got, it's going to be it for this episode. I guess we're just going to get 15 there. That's good. Our power increases. Builds. In any case, that's going to be it for this episode. Let's play Hot Wheels Track Attack for the DS. See you guys next time in the next episode. We're getting almost done with these places, but we'll head on to the rainforest again with, I guess, Twin Milk. Good old Twin Milk helping us out again. Anyways, see you then, guys.